tests, two tests that I feel are good tests, two tests that are, this is a little debatable, some say entry, intermediate, I'm going to say not necessarily entry level tests, but like a step above. So somewhere in between intermediate entry, depending upon what you're talking about is going to be where these tests kind of lie. So for argument's sake, someone can make the case that the security plus is complete entry level and then the pen test plus is intermediate. So depends on the individual. Let's just talk about these two tests. You get the certified ethical hacker. And by the way, this is just a website that I just Googled. Okay, so I don't work for InfoSec or anything. Just getting a little bit of information. We're going to be going to different websites, and then I'll just give you my opinion. I mean, 15 years as a programmer, and then I'd like to say I graduated from that into pen testing. Okay, you, you, you want to stay alive. You want to learn different things. And if you feel like you're getting a little bored with something, hey, never been bored with pen testing have never been bored with cybersecurity so that's been my focus really in the last five to seven years pen testing so why did I get the pen test plus and the CEH certified ethical hacker well I felt that the latest versions mm, were well worth it very well rounded and I just feel not only to have on your resumes, but really just to learn to further your own knowledge is really, really important. So I'm just going to be comparing the two, but it's more of just my opinion and, and how these two exams kind of are on a financial level as far as not necessarily the salary that you get paid. But this, the, the amount of money that you have to pay in order to take these tests. So why don't we just start with the money aspect. Okay, so you have two tests here. Both of them are, uh, I'm not going to say complete entry level, but, you know, let's just say they're about equivalent on the scale. Okay, so why don't we get to the cost, all right? You have $370 CompTIA Pen Test Plus test. Okay? Give or take. I don't know when this was uh, put out. Just kind of Googling it. Maybe it's a little bit more. I actually do think it's, I kind of think I paid closer to five. But okay, let's just say 370 and you got the CEH at almost $1,200 to take the test. Now, can anybody take the uh, certified ethical hacker test? Well, not true now if you go through their program where you're going to take their education you get a voucher um and it's going to even be more money than this twelve hundred dollars if you have zero experience so if you have experience like myself you get a waiver for the testing and then you can go ahead and just take the test and then twelve hundred dollars Certified Ethical Hacker. So that's what you are. That's your title. Excellent. Do what you will with it, whether you're self-employed like myself, um, or you're going to go ahead and work for a larger company. Up to you. Now let's get to the Pen Test Plus. 370, 470, whatever it is, significantly less in cost than the CEH test. So for those of you out there that don't have experience, I strongly suggest the Pen Test Plus. Okay, unless money is no object and you're 100% sure that you want to just get the CEH as the first test, then you go right ahead. But you'll have to get, you're going to be paying more than the, let's say, $1,200. So, comparatively speaking, obviously the CompTIA Pen Test Plus wins um, by a long shot. Now, you can see here it says test duration 165 minutes and then you have the longer test of 240 minutes. Now, I scored pretty good on both of these tests, but that was based really on my knowledge of penetration testing and my years of experience. 
Um, and even though in particular five to seven years of penetration testing prior to that, I was still testing networks. So this stuff definitely I'm familiar with. For those of you out there brand new to this, the Pentest Plus by CompTIA, they recommend taking the uh, Network Plus or the Security Plus prior to taking the Pentest Plus. So think about that first then as the prerequisite. If you have that, then go ahead and take that Pentest Plus. Because if you don't have a base knowledge, I still don't recommend these tests as your first test. Get that Security Plus test. But let's say you have that or you just have industry experience. Personally, I think you're better off getting that pen test plus first. So as far as benefits, I mean, the pen test plus does have some very good um, examples. I mean, you have actually have a wide variety of questions. You have some questions that almost seem blue team. They are. You have some red team questions. You have some penetration testing questions. Um, you have um, various questions regarding um, Wi-Fi penetration testing. So it's kind of covering a nice broad range of questions. So don't think that it's just um, they have some real world examples. So. I actually think the pen test has come a long way and in my opinion I actually thought it was a little bit more effective of hitting home getting to the point than the CEH was just kind of more broad and longer but from a hiring perspective the CEH is still a step above the pen test plus and I'm just these are just some um, examples now Obviously, this place here wants you to buy their training course. So they're saying, do both. Well, what if you're on a limited budget? Pentest Plus. Okay. If money doesn't mean anything to you, you have big pockets, what have you, go for the CEH. All right. But remember, you want to get that foundation first. Now, these are things that, of course, you can do on your own. I mean, you can Google and get this information. You don't need me to tell you that. But since I'm here, I figured I'll give you my opinion mixed with my experience. So, which is better? Again, Pentest Plus versus CEH. That's what I typed there in Google. And um, I, just, I just think overall, now this is interesting. There's a video there, CEH versus Pentest versus OSCP versus PNPT. I mean, hey, those of you out there, you're obviously watching this video because you're deciding what avenue to go. You're probably new to pen testing. Okay. So, I mean, to start reading about these, you don't take the OSCP unless you really have some knowledge and experience in the industry first. So, um, can the pen test get you a job? Absolutely. Absolutely. And how does CompTIA define the actual test here for pen tests? Okay, so there they actually, this is interesting. I didn't see this prior. We started with this. This is kind of interesting. Um, so they're actually comparing the two, which is interesting. Um, look at that. So they are on their website comparing which is a better test. Now, obviously, they're going to make the test that, excuse me, they're going to make the comparison that their test is better, obviously. They are CompTIA. We talked about this, the eligibility requirements, remember? Even if you wanted to take the CEH test, unless you're going to take their program, you can't just go ahead and take it like you can with the CompTIA Pen Test Plus. So there you have it. Um, uh, for CompTIA Pentest Plus, CompTIA recommends having, we talked about that, CompTIA Security Network Plus, or equivalent knowledge, as well as three to four of hands-on experience. Now that's what they're recommending, but remember, they are not emailing your uh, boss to you know, see if you work for a company and if you have um, experience like they do with the CEH. 
CH requires candidates who do not compete for official okay program. There you go. <clears throat> CEH requires candidates who do not complete the official training program needed to provide proof of their two years of work experience in information security through an application process before registering for the exam. So, remember what we talked about? Okay, so you have to show proof of two years of work experience. Okay. So basically, they're, they're saying that they are requiring, where they're, they're recommending experience, but they're not requiring. That would be if they come to you. Recertification process, I believe it's the same. After three years, you go ahead and recertify. Look at this. CompTIA pen test provides three times more employability. Look at that. In addition to testing, CompTIA covers the job K okay, framework. Uh -huh. Look at this. Compare the job roles for each exam and see for yourself. Very interesting. So they're basically saying it's a, it is a shorter test, but they're saying that theirs is a more effective test. Definitely for those of you out there, go on the website. I don't want to make this video too long, but go on the website um, for CompTIA. Check it out. Get the information as far as me passing the test. I'm not going to get too much into the book that I use, but basically I had a book anyway to review. Most of it I was familiar with, so it's not like it was new to me. But I'm going to go ahead and put that book um, at the description below, just in case you want to order it from Amazon. And um, I hope this kind of helps. So both tests are good. I don't want to, you know, one is a bit more comprehensive. Theory, that would be the CEH, where the pen test plus does a great job of really getting to the point and pinpointing those very specific pen test plus questions with some very good examples of real world kind of vulnerabilities. That, so it requires thinking and it's, I think, very effective. They're showing you code, um, and I have to say, even on the new CEH test, we were seeing that as well. Okay. I took that just within the last few months. So you're seeing updated tests. Both of them are competitive. Both of them are good. I don't think it's fair to say one is better than the other. Pen test was definitely getting technical, but then again, CEH is still out there and respected and advertised. So I don't, you can't go wrong with either one. On a budget, do the pen test plus. Budget doesn't mean anything for you. Take the training. Go for the CEH and then get the pen test plus after. That's all I can say. I have both of them. Take care. I'm going to be doing some more videos. And thank you for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. Click the like button. And I look forward to more videos. Take care.